From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The Southern African Plastic Pipe Manufacturers Association is taking a no-nonsense, uncompromising stance on the quality of pipes that are manufactured by its members. Melissa Zisengwe tells us more. SAPMA CEO Jan Venter tells Engineering News about the importance of plastic pipes in infrastructure. He also explains the importance of quality long-term pipes. First of all, infrastructure by definition is very important. You know, we, we, we live in a civilized country and we want to improve all the time. We want everybody to have water, we want everybody to have sewer eventually. And, uh, and uh, plastic pipe is of extreme importance. You know, the water we drink, the sewage that gets taken away, storm water that gets taken away, and, and, and many, many other places. Uh, and and we've, we've done some market studies that uh, plastic pipe in, in that area, particularly municipal area, is, is of the order of, was well, about two-thirds, roughly spoken. About two-thirds of pipe, all pipe is plastic pipe in the uh, water supply and the sewage market. Some, some places more, some places less. Uh, the other thing that's of importance there is the duration of, of infrastructure or the, or the lifetime that one, one expects. You don't want to put a pipe in and dig it out after three years or 10 years or even 20 years because by that time there's more buildings, there's more disruption or whatever, plus the cost of course. So the modern plastic materials are designed now to last a uh, hundred years easily, no problem. So if the pipe gets made well, that pipe can last a hundred years and it can stay under the ground if it's the, uh, a buried pipe for 100 years uh, without disruption. Venta elaborates on the role SAPMA plays in ensuring that plastic pipes are of suitable quality. SAPMA is a voluntary organization and it's also a non-profit organization. So we get our funds from, from membership fees and, and, and we really believe we, we're of service to the whole of the country, all the, all the consumers. What we do is our members, and we represent about 80% of all pipe manufacturers in volume terms we represent. Our members are scrutinized a lot more than what non-members are. Uh, there are national standards that cover all, uh, or should cover all manufacturers. Uh, we go a couple of steps further. We apply additional minimum standards in terms of quality. Uh, we we uh, require that every CEO of a company signs a code of conduct and it's quite a, a hefty document which he signs and, and, and undertakes various things. All things that, that uh, contribute towards quality. Then we monitor it. We, we have regular factory audits. We've got an auditor, he goes in, unannounced, goes into a factory, he checks the systems, the processes, the laboratory, the everything, checks everything. You know, the traceability, if something goes wrong with the pipe, can you trace it back to where it started, where it was made? We do all that. We sample product and have it tested by an outside laboratory. So, you know, generally we keep the guys on their toes, we believe. SAPMA is operating in an industry that is facing financial and various other challenges. The association says it has become all too easy for pipe producers to want to take shortcuts or compromises on quality by using inferior raw materials. Venta explains the steps SAPMA takes if a member's pipes are not up to standard during a quality audit. We made provision for that in our code of conduct and, and our memorandum of incorporation. We, uh, we give a guy, a, if it's a repeated thing, maybe the information or the results come forth from one of our audits, and test. We, uh, we give them the, the audit report and the, and the lab report and, if, and ask them to put it right. If it's repeated, we write them a letter giving them a certain period of time, a deadline to get your house in order. If they fail to do that, we suspend them. And as uh, simple as that. And, and, and we do that. Venta explains why the media is important in the work that the association does. We appreciate your presence here, the media's presence, because you know we can fight as much as we can here behind the walls to keep the quality, but if that message doesn't get out to, to the public, 
uh, it's, it's, it's rather useless. So we really rely heavily on the media to, to make the, uh, the consumer out there aware of the pitfalls of quality and to be a lot more uh, strict in their selection of materials and contractors and suppliers. Uh, I think this is uh, one, of, one of our good members here. We've got, we, we don't differentiate between our members. You know, if they're a member, we consider them a five-star manufacturer. And this is, this is one of the very good examples of it. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.